you really want to say? Hamilton is very dear to me. Not at all a distant cousin that I have little affection for. He's a romantic. He's prone to bouts of ill health and very easily led by poetic notions. He says that you make him happy, that you make him laugh. He's had much sadness of late, so for that I am grateful. Do you mean I'm playing for his money? For his time. Put your hands on, put your hands on. I'm not a violent man. Put your hands on, put your hands on. Who is ready for a time for lunch? I put everything I have into a fight. I train hard, I hit hard. And that hand of yours, is that worrying you at all? Not a bit. You put your body on the line no matter what the cost. It's only pain. <laughs> and uh, speaking of pain, what about uh, your father's recent death? I mean, a lot of people are saying that that's really going to play a big part in the outcome of the match. My father will play as little part in this fight as he did in any part of my life. beautiful thing I've ever seen. What do I do now? Oh God, my first time, what should I do? Calm down, Paul. Enjoy the moment. You're not alone tonight. Tonight someone cares about you. Excitarme tener un orgasmo. ¿Y puedes? Sí, buena noticia, puedo. Bien, de acuerdo. Quiero terminar esta relación. Oh, Tony. Mm. Tony, no digas eso. Sabes que te necesito. ¿Por qué necesitas? ¿Cómo vas a necesitarme si todas las cosas buenas las sientes con todos menos conmigo? Con todos no, ¿eh? Con mm. todos no. Solo con Javier. So, let me get this right. You are now prepared to relinquish all contact with the children in exchange for some suitable down payment. Well, in a nutshell, yes, but I mean, that's not really You're that... prepared to offer my client something that she already has in exchange for something she does not have. Well, she can get it. What you are is a bully, your veneer of respectability backed up by a host of people who have never seen you drunk in a position of control. Then surely you must see the stupidity. Whoever has told you stories, perhaps has told you he was holidaying in Alsace? Well, he needed a break, some time on his own. He needed more. The malady that afflicts him grows worse. He needed a cure. It's only temporary, a seasonal thing. He didn't find it. Perhaps he has three months. I'm glad that you say I make him happy. As his nurse from the Alsace Hospice. That is more than the task I was chosen to do. Mm -hmm.